Tonight, a woman injured by a roller coaster last Sunday is in the hospital fighting for her life. She wasn't even on the ride in the first place when the accident happened, and investigators are trying to figure out what went wrong. Tony Getos has that story. Body cam at Cedar Point captures the moments after a woman was struck in the head by a piece of metal. It was just before 4.30 in the afternoon, Sunday, August 15th. According to the Ohio Department of Agriculture, the L-shaped flag plate disconnected from a ride vehicle of Top Thrill Dragster. ODA is investigating the cause of how and when the plate disconnected from the ride and the damage that occurred to the track. The train has been sent to a laboratory to examine the bolts which remain in the train body. And ODA is awaiting a report from that testing laboratory. That plate, according to the ODA Chief of the Amusement Ride Safety Division, triggers sensors along the track. Those sensors relay the position of the train to the ride's computer system. When the accident happened, investigators say it damaged the vehicle and the track. Half of the bolts which secured the plate to the train body were still in place. The track on which the train returns near the finish line, what is called the brake bracket area, shows signs of impact and deformation. Several horizontal track beams show signs of impact within approximately 25 feet of the damaged brake bracket. A 44-year-old woman who was standing in the queue line was hit in the head by the plate, according to the ODA. The woman, who lives outside Flint, Michigan, was taken from Sandusky to Mercy Health St. Vincent Medical Center in Toledo. A spokesperson released this statement on behalf of that woman's family. We are devastated by last weekend's accident at Cedar Point. We want to thank everyone for their thoughts and prayers during this time. Rachel is fighting for her life, and we would ask for privacy in this difficult time.